those faces you should recognize because if you've been following anything in mixed media or paper crafting, you know who Jane Davenport is. She's this really cute blonde, stands about this tall and lives down under in Australia. And she does the most amazing Facebook lives. Her Facebook um, page is just full of, what does she call them? Her um, artemologists and Davin peeps. Davin peeps, yeah. They're just like crazed about her. Every time she does anything, they're just like, it's amazing. So her big thing, is faces and mermaids amongst others okay yes. yep if it's whimsical it's fun if it's sparkly then that's what Jane wants to talk about well this is not Jane this is Robin Robin is a Jane expert are you one of the Facebook peeps yes I am okay yeah. and you go crazy every time she comes out <laughs> always <laughs> so, well she doesn't work for Jane though she works for um, Spellbinders now Spellbinders of course is the dye company with all the cool dyes that they have but they've started putting out the Jane Davenport supplies and Robin is going to take us through just a quick overview of some of these really really fun um, kind of makeup artist tools. They're not really makeup, no. but they make me think I want to put them on as makeup. And instead, you're going to put them on little faces like this. So Robin, take us through some of the supplies that you're going to use. Sure. So this is the Making Faces line and the Making Faces line with uh, Jane. It's beauty inspired art supplies. So you're going to see different products that, oh, that looks like eyeliner. Uh -huh. That looks like lipstick. That's what that I That looks thought. like foundation. <laughs> that looks like eyeshadow. And it's to look like that, but it is art supplies. So one of the first things that I want to show is these faces. I did not draw them, but I did color them using the Making Faces product. And what it is based on is her, she always has fun names, I came, I saw, I contoured <laughs> uh, face charts. And so it's based on when you go, like if you're going to go get new makeup and everything, you're going to, they're going to show you, oh, this is where you put the eyeliner, this is where you put everything. So that's what it's based on. There's instructions here of how you can work with it. And so this is a um, mixed media paper. It works with wet and dry medium. And so you see you can add on the hair. You can just do all different things with it. So we've taken, and this is all Jane's original artwork. It really artwork. takes me back to the, the Barbie. The Barbie <laughs> mannequin where you know, it was just Barbie's face and you could put all of her makeup on. Loved that. So this is, so what, we, what I did, this is one that I had started. And you'll see it's like, oh, there's paint all over it. So what we have is this is the Matchmaker line and this is an acrylic matte paint. And what's really beautiful about it is that you can customize to any color tone, any skin tone. And so you start with your, your face base. And if you want to go dark, darker, you add in the darkened tones. And if you want to go lighter, you do the light and tones and so you can make just about any type of uh, skin tone which I think is really great um, for all diversity and so because you have a nice matte base it's everything that you can build on it and so what we can do now is one of my favorite things is Jane has these palette pastels and these look like they're eyeshadow but they're not and you'll see this is birthday suit we have uh, lit up, which are her warm tones. We have chilled, which are the cool tones, and then we have mineralized, which is like an ear, like which it has is my a, favorite. They're it's got like a, a sparkle to it, yeah. exactly. I really and need that as an eyeshadow. <laughs> What's wonderful about these is that they are so finely milled, they really go onto the paper beautifully. So what I'm going to be using is these are called baton blenders, and the whole like you know fun with it is that you know you can you uh -huh. know spin them like a you know spin them like a baton. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, what I'm going to do is going to just take the birthday suit and I'm just going to take some color tones and I'm just going to add in. Now see this is darker but I can rub it out and everything and just start to build. You know, if I want to go with a lighter tone, you're like, oh I went a little too dark, I want to do a little pink, I can add that in. Maybe over here. Okay, see over here. I'll just add She's just. Already a, getting contours. Yeah, exactly. She is getting contours and things. If I want to add like a little bit of what would be, maybe I want to do a little bit of shadow. I mean, mm -hmm. I can do that. So you can see, like, I'll show you one of these finished ones that I that I have here. You see where you can see the cheeks, and you can do a little bit of shading with, you know, under the neck, you know, because you have some of that shadow there, and then adding some eyeliner and things like that. So some of the other items that you can do, because these are beautiful, and you don't even, they because they're so finely milled, they really work themselves into the paper. You really don't need a fixative. All right, so they're a pastel, a, but they're not a pastel that you would need a fixative. Right, on. right, right. And they're just really okay. nice. And so then another thing you may want to do is you want to add some different, 
you know, embellishments, eyeliner, and things like that. And what we have are ultimate pens. And ultimate pens, I actually use that for the hair. Um, these are a waterproof ink, and it's a very flexible tip. So you can see the tip can go thin, go thick, thin, thick. Mm -hmm. And so that's why here with the hair, you can add different things. But you can also come in, and if you wanted to make like a cat's eye, not the bed, but there we go, there we cat's go. eye. You can do that. Now amongst those, there are, and I know you love these. Oh my gosh, this was so cool. Okay, yeah, I gotta here, show you. Please, please let me have it. So we're in the meeting and we got one of these. And it looks just like a silver pen. And then I wrote on it, so I'm gonna just flip this over. Just because I'm sitting in the meeting, I flip it over and I just started doing like this. And I totally lost track, so I needed Robin to come into the studio today to tell us what she talked about. Because I swear to you, I started writing with this, and I was totally distracted by the shiny object. I am a squirrel. <laughs> They're just, it's so amazingly shiny, you guys. When you tip it up and you're looking at it, you will be shocked by how metallic-y and glitterily, glitterly, that was a word. Yes, These that's are. a new one now. Yep. And, it's, mm -hmm. and, it's a water, and, and it's a waterproof base. Yeah. which is nice too. So, so you could put that on her eyeshadow, couldn't you? Huh? Exactly. Okay, yeah, you can cool. do that. Okay, yeah, see, that. we can do that. Okay. So if you wanted to even go over here. And then, and I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there is so much shine to these pens. It's amazing. They're really, they're really a lot of fun. And they're great to add to, for cards or adding that little bit of highlight if you yeah. wanted to do that and everything like that. So these are a lot of fun. So there's a gold, okay. silver screen, and golden age are those. I love that. And so then one of the other things that we have is these are velvet pastels. And velvet pastels, it looks almost like it's a cream eyeliner or cream lip liner. And so the thing is, is that you can add them onto here and you can, you know, create, add some color, but they're also neat create some fun backgrounds. Yeah. Again, it's waterproof when it's dry. It's kind of a neat, creamy uh, finish. And it's just a different little animal in regards to the things that you can do with it. Yeah. Um, so there are so many things in the Jane Davenport line. Um, it is truly a makeup counter dream of all of the different supplies. And what's really fun is Jane has videos like crazy. There are so many videos. And then you were telling me about the free workshop one she has. Jane on her website, janedavenport.com, she has a Making Faces workshop that if you sign up for, it's free. And if there's like 12 videos that and bring you through the all the things that That's the kind of thing that, that, that she teaches do. in a class. But here it is, retailers and consumers consumers. Consider getting together with a group at the store and watching that video together and then you're all learning how to do the making faces together so it's a community and so then you can say oh look what I did this one was great and then you know somebody like me is gonna go I can't draw eyes and then, uh, and, stuff. and then you're able to do it so on Jane's website that's where you're gonna find that free making workshop. faces workshop yep so all of these different supplies there's there's these beautiful makeup brushes there's the holders there's the pens there's the pastels there's the crayons there's the markers it's all there so you too can make some of Jane's faces. Have a great day.